Hey guys, Harry Wilkinson here. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about a wedding I went to this weekend that happened in part because of a client that I was able to help. So many, many years ago, this guy had gone through like a divorce many years prior and had been out on the dating scene and he was getting some hookups here or there, but wasn't really connecting with women that he wanted to be with long-term. And so uh, I had been doing a lot of online dating at the time and this guy came to me and was like, hey, like I'm trying to do better at online dating, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I get no matches, no women are interested. I don't know what's up. And so me, I have a whole program in my uh, Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy that is called Smart Digital Dating. And that whole program is supposed to give you guys the ins and outs of how to do online dating the right way, how to get your photos right, how to get your bio correct, but more importantly, how to communicate with women in a way that gets them wanting to meet up with you. And so I said, you know what? I'll help you out. I gave him the program. I was also able to help polish up his, his pictures and his bio. Like I, I give a full on service to, I will help you present yourself in a way that is authentic, but that is giving the best possible version of you that women can connect with. And so this guy did that. He followed all the stuff that I put forth with him. He listened to my suggestions about his profile and he was able to meet somebody. And so they started out dating and then they went into a friendship for a little bit because he had moved out of state and was working on some other things, but they were talking on the phone consistently every day for a couple of years actually. And so eventually they decided to rekindle and get serious and it got to the point where they decided they wanted to get married. And there were, there were a lot of you know hurdles in the way. This guy had some health challenges that came up and she had some issues that came up, but they were able to make it work out. And so this weekend I was able to attend this guy's wedding. And I just wanna say it was absolutely amazing. Like I think in today's world, it's so easy to get cynical about dating and about love and about men and women and how they think differently and want different things and who wants the more ridiculous thing from the other person than the other. It's like, there's so much turmoil online about love doesn't exist and people only want to use each other. And I think part of that's honestly because in today's culture, there's so much hype about being single and about playing the field and getting hookups with whomever and not having it be a serious thing. And I also don't think enough people go to weddings to see what the culmination of love actually looks like and the feeling tone it's supposed to actually give because that should be the feeling we're all chasing is this undescribable feeling of not only does another person love me, but there is a unit around both people that are steadfast in seeing that this love actually works out for the best. And that's what I got to experience this weekend is I got to see a wide collection of his family and a wide collection of her family come together to see two people that are like genuinely in love with each other. I'm talking, one of the best men gave a speech where he said him and the now bride were just talking about something random involving uh, my client. And at one point, cause he had gone through some health problems and she had really been there for him. And so, the best man was just saying to, to the bride, hey, you know, thanks so much for being there for the, the client because, you know, he really needed it. And her response back was, there's no need to thank me for that. I just absolutely love this man. And I think that in the in the process of being so cynical about dating, that is something that we forget is that when you find the right person, both people are there to genuinely show love for the other person. And not only is going to be there for them, but wants to be there for them through both good times and bad. And now I've been a dating coach as of this year for 20 years. And it started off because I was just very, very bad at dating, but I had seen enough good relationships in my family to know that a good relationship was also possible for me if I was willing to work at it, if I was willing to better understand women, if I was able to see the flaws that I had and be like, you know what, objectively, 
There are some things about me that I could change to get better results, but also to be a better person. I, some, I think sometimes we get stuck on this idea of, I don't want to change who I am and I'm great as I am. But if you're not the kind of person that is able to be effective in different environments, including around women, then it's something to consider that maybe how you are right now isn't actually beneficial and that were you to develop newer habits and learn newer ways of thinking that you could be in fact beneficial to more people outside of the relationship stuff, but especially in the relationship stuff, you know? And so that's what I got to see this weekend because this client of mine, not only did he work on his online dating presence, but he also worked on his own temperament. He worked on trying to get in better shape. He worked on a lot of things about himself that he understood needed to be changed in order to be a more effective partner because he had already gone through a divorce prior. And even in that, he was able to see in that journey where he could have done better versus just being like, it was all her fault and how dare she and she didn't do this and that. But he was like, objectively, there are some things that I could have worked on. And so because he did that, the fruits and benefit of that is that when this woman came along, he knew how to be. He was able to be a more honest version of himself because they had a lot of talks before they got married about what their goals were, their likes, their dislikes, what their non-negotiables and stuff were. And I don't think those are conversations that he had had in his previous relationship, you know? But suffice to say, this weekend and this wedding that I got to go to, like I said, it was just the culmination of so much great stuff. It was being able to see two people that genuinely care for each other with their friends, their family, their bridesmaids, their groomsmen. Uh, I was able to see people come from out of town and just come and celebrate these two people. I was able to see people that didn't know each other being able to interact and mingle. And I saw some women there that were single that were talking with men there that were also single. So then you have that networking on top of because everybody there knows each other, it's a lot easier to meet people in these environments, you know? People are just dancing and laughing and having fun. And that's the joy that's supposed to come from all of this. Like we take dating so personally and we make it all about what can I get out of this? What do I need? How's the other person serving me? And we forget that this is supposed to be a love connection where two people come together and say, how can I best serve the other person in front of me? You know, in spite of their flaws, in spite of whatever their height is or their money situation is or their weight is, like the end goal is supposed to be we are filling a thing, we're living an experience together, and we wanna make this the best possible experience for the person that we're with. And that's all that I saw this weekend. More importantly though, at least to me, it made me happy that I got to be part of that journey. Because you know, I've been doing this, like I said, for 20 years, and there are times when I'm giving messages out, and as much as I believe that the things I'm teaching to you guys are effective, there's always questions of like, okay, but like, objectively, is this, helping people? Are people actually listening or are people just cynical and they just don't want to listen and they assume all men are bad, all women are bad, nobody's worth dating anymore, it's all in the past, we can't find love like that anymore. And so the fact that I had a program that this person was able to go through and then he was able to use that part of the program to, to actually effectively find somebody that was of quality, that was a quality person online and then be able to develop a long-standing relationship with them and then get married to them. I just like the fact that I was part of that process. And I've been able to be a part of that process for quite a few people now who've either, you know, checked out my online dating program or have checked out my Top Secret Dating Blueprint program, which is also in the Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy, as well as my various audios on how to better communicate with women, getting insights from experts about, you know, the various aspects of dating and relationships that both men and women need to know in order to be effective partners. Like, I just really get a good feeling. And that's why I continue to do this. Because I'll tell you now, like, I'm a YouTube partner and it ain't like I'm pulling in a whole lot of money on YouTube, but I just like the fact that if there's one person out there that's listening to the stuff that I'm saying and it's resulting in them being able to better approach women, to better get more dates with women, to be able to actually get rid of some of their anxiousness, to be able to actually 
build more confidence in themselves as a person to be able to say like, well, I might not be the best looking guy, but thanks to Harry's stuff, I'm able to still walk into rooms and be able to get women based off my actual personality, not the fake personality I tried to make up before. That stuff continues to make me feel good and it gives me purpose to keep going with this kind of stuff. Because like I said, the fact that I've actually been able to see marriages happen as a result of people following my advice and my coaching and taking my programs, that's always going to feel good. So I just wanted to share that with you. The wedding this weekend was fantastic. I got to be there to film it. And there's other, there's another story that happened at the wedding that I'll get into in a separate video. But I just wanted to really just give you guys encouragement that yes, your person is out there. Your persons are out there. Love still happens and exists. And if you're willing to do a little bit of work on yourself in order to get yourself to the place where you're a bit more open to how women are and you have more skill sets in how to better communicate with them, then that's, I just really want to give you that, that message that that hope exists and you can also be the person that experiences that. So just wanted to spread that message and I hope that you're enjoying the videos that I've been putting on this channel. You can also go to harrywilmington.com to check out the Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy, which has a wide variety of programs that are going to help you get to the promised land. Because here's the thing, most guys, their main issue as it pertains to dating is that they just can't figure out the things they need to do to better attract women and to be less anxious and nervous. And I used to be the same way and I want you to be able to handle those situations and those problems so you can actually effectively get to that next level. And I think that my Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy is the program that's going to take you to the promised land, help you be your more secure, authentic self, and help you attract and land the women that you've always wanted to dream of, all right? So you can check out everything that's in the program at harrywilmington.com. If you like what you see, we would love to have you today. That's all I got for now. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.